Who is your biggest musical influence? Uh, well, I go through phases, um, and maybe every four or five years, I feel like a couple of artists are my main influences. Mm -hmm. Um, but when I was growing up, um, Rush was a big influence, um, probably my main influence. Um, I got really, really into Dream Theater. Mm. Um, I was way into them. I would say they're probably, besides Rush, the biggest influence. Um, but I went on to play so many different kinds of music that didn't even come close to anything that Dream Theater would ever do. So I don't know if I could say it influences everything, but those two artists have been influencing what I've been doing the past couple of years anyway. And I, I mostly mean old Dream Theater. I, I can't quite get into um, the last decade or so. I like the like the late 80s and, and 90s stuff. Um, yeah. That's what I connect with the most. Probably the same goes for Rush, really, the 80s, uh, 80s and 90s stuff, for sure. Where were you when you first heard Dream Theater? Um, I think I was in my living room, and I think my uncle uh, either made a tape or a, burned a CD. He was into burning CDs like really early on, like in the, the CD burning age. Mm -hmm. um, he had like a $2,000 CD burner, and I think he made me... <laughs> I'm serious, it was too grand. My dad had one at one point too, and when it was a brand new thing, and it, I, I remember specifically that it was too grand. Um, yeah, it seems so crazy because they're just in our laptops now. You could buy a USB CD burner for like twenty dollars, but yeah, uh, it's you, nuts. You, you um, just triggered my memory of you know, going to my <laughs> uncle's house, and he uh, showed me his laser disc player, and he only had one. He had one movie. It was Eraser that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie and I remember he told yeah. me how much it cost and it, it didn't even make sense this was you know late 90s or something I don't even know when but <laughs> yeah <laughs> laser discs were pretty crazy they're really pretty um yeah it, when I look at it I feel like something crazy is happening because it looks like an oversized CD so it I feel like reality is like altered or something yeah it's something a it's wrong. a medium from an alternate dimension that's sort of sneaked in yeah. it's, it's side chained into ours <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like when you see like one of those savannah cats and it looks like a domestic cat but like a lot bigger and you're just like wait what's happening yeah. wrong um but yeah back to that moment i don't know i don't remember specifically but i'm pretty sure my my uncle just um gave me a copy because he was into getting me into prog um new prog artists he also got me into fate's warning and they're definitely like one of my favorites as well oh, i haven't um, heard of them uh they're like <laughs> i don't want to I don't want to say a, a, a poor man's dream theater. So that's, <laughs> that's not true because they can spread too. They really can. I think that they're maybe they're just like more moody, even um, uh, not as progressive, um, mm. kind of darker. Um, a but more yeah, oh, they're so great. All of their they're um, probably like early 80s mid 80s stuff like into the 90s was all real good 